the federal government has sacked all directors of aviation less than 24 hours after the removal of all heads of aviation agencies from their offices. The government said this is in they said this in a statement signed by Odutayo Olusheyi, the spokesperson for the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Keamu, on Thursday in Abuja. The government directed the affected directors to hand over to the most senior officers in their various directorates immediately. The directors of the affected agencies, which include the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, Nigeria Meteorological Agency, Nigeria Airspace Management Agency, Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, and Nigeria Safety and Investigation Bureau have been instructed to hand over their duties to the most senior personnel in their respective directorates without further delay. To take a look at this, we're joined by an aviation expert, Wale Shadari. Thank you very much, Wale, for giving us your time. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Good evening. All directors sacked less than 24 hours after the removal of all heads of aviation agencies from their office. Is this the beginning of the much-announced overhaul of the sector? Thank you very much. Um, this is... Um, it took long for this to come because um, a lot of people have been waiting for it. Um, I think we're following a pattern. Each time there's a new administration, each time there's a new minister or a new government, uh, you try, they try to come up with things like this. Have a look at the old sector. I think the minister felt they could, there was need to inject um, freshness, uh, you know, call on people who are very hungry to improve the sector's uh, rules. So that must have informed the Minister of Aviation's uh, decision and by extension, President Tinobu's um, uh, decision as well to make a change and see if there will be a new direction. Uh, we know a lot of things have been happening in the aviation industry, but chief of all is that the new minister wants people he can actually work with. He can actually get, you know, the drive, inject that drive from the president to them to see if they could change the aviation uh, industry, the narrative. Uh, but we hope to see what is going to happen in the last, uh, in the next few days. Uh, some of them have handed over, one of them, the uh, managing director of PAN has handed over to Mrs. Kuku today. Uh, and then by tomorrow, uh, we expect others to also have done that. The managing director of um, uh, Nigeria Space Management Agency is likely to hand over to uh, uh, to who is going to succeed him. But uh, I think the manner of um, um, re retrenchment, sack, or replacement uh, is very, very curious in the sense that um, in the case of um, uh, NSID, um, Engineer Akin Olateru um, is a director general, and they have a procedure on how a DG can be removed from the office, from office. So, and the act establishing NIS, NIS, uh, states that whoever is going to take over from, um, uh, or whoever is coming to replace the uh, DG NSID must have 15 years a prerequisite experience, but the way it looks, it actually looks as if um, the man that is coming does not have that requisite um, experience. So we also need to look at that. That's the, one the worry. That, that, uh, that's actually my second question, but I wanted you to uh, speak a little further before I interjected. The statement that announced the, um, um, the sack was made publicly, and it read like they were not aware other than the way it, they became aware, the way we all became aware via that statement. Is that something you see no, that no. happened as well? Or they yeah. were aware no, no, before no. the statement was released to the press? Uh, I, I think they were aware because um, when that statement came out yesterday evening, I put a call through one of the um, former MDs 
uh, he actually said he got his letter in the morning that they had been briefed before um, that was actually uh, released to the public. So I think they are aware. And uh, I think they are also aware in the last one week that something like that may happen, uh, but they didn't know the magnitude of what was going to happen. It was a huge, uh, it was a clean sweep, if I may use that word. So right. even those that we thought that will not be affected were affected. So it was a clean sweep. No CEO was spared. But in the case of the, the DG of uh, Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, there had been an allegation of corruption and there had been an allegation of uh, so many impropriety by him. And that was why he was suspended. But the, uh, his replacement was also part of the people that are facing EFCC uh, such like because the EFCC has begun to investigate uh, about missing 35 billion naira that agency. So, so if there is worry uh, about but, the leadership that the people that are being removed, what are the chances that their replacements are already available? Or if I would rephrase that question, uh, the people yeah. that are going to be acting in their capacity, how long are they supposed to act for before uh, I, I, uh, these I, people I, are replaced? I, know, I think most of the people replacing them are in substantive uh, capacity. I think only one is in acting capacity. Uh, no, two are in acting capacity because of the acts establishing them, uh, the NCA and uh, uh, NIMET, Nigeria, uh, no, not NIMET, um, the Nigeria College of Aviation Technology, which is also uh, one of the agencies of aviation. So we already have capable hands in NAMA, in Nigeria Airspace Management, uh, in the person of uh, Engineer Farouk Umar, who has replaced, uh, which is a very good replacement for um, Engineer Toyib that was uh, that left. I think the former Minister of Aviation, Adi Sirika, set these people up for sack in the sense that these appointments were done uh, in the in the in the few days to his exit so uh a lot of people were actually um um bothered that the, the former minister could be doing such appointment uh, uh one week or two weeks to the time the government was going to exit so it that's was indeed curious, curious. A lot I, of I guess were curious about that Yes, I guess we would expect to hear more from the aviation sector, especially with the airline yeah. that was supposed to have been floated and the controversies around it in the coming oh, yes, days. But yes, yes. What, what do you yes, expect think, to happen in the coming days in terms of this think, sack? Yeah, I think that was one of the flaws of the, um, the Director General of NC, which has always, which had, um, who had been, you know, uh, a lot of people accused of not regulating the industry very well. You remember the case of delay flight and um, flight cancellation without prior knowledge, where the minister had came out to say that every airline found to be engaging in these anti-passenger practices would be punished as from as from January, and their names will be will be published in national uh, newspapers. So there were a lot of issues with the regulatory body. And it is even better that the minister waded into it because uh, if the minister had not waded into it, perhaps we were going to have an accident in our hands. Yes, yeah. the aviation industry has been safe in Nigeria. We have one of the best safety records in the whole world. But I think we shouldn't have we shouldn't go to bed with our eyes closed, or we shouldn't rest on our oars and believe that everything will be all right. We need to be on top of our game. We need to do things that we need to do before we begin to descend into what we had in 1999 and 2000 when aircraft started falling off the, uh, off the skies. I'm, I'm so positive we wouldn't has, retrogress at all. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the reason the minister has taken proactive steps, particularly on that aviation regulatory body. But right. the replacement you have for the DG, the removed DGNCA, is also curious by a lot of people who felt that uh, that appointment, like they will say in uh, Nigerian pigeon, he get a CV.
<laughs> Egeta Thank CV, thank you so much, Wale, so, for speaking with us. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it.